Police are still looking for the suspect who shot a rookie NYPD cop in the middle of the day. Fox 5's Lisa Average joins us live from Jamaica Hospital where the officer is currently being treated. Lisa. Well, Stephen and Natasha, it is hard to believe, but it was an argument over a bus seat that set off a chain of events that led to that rookie police officer being rushed here to Jamaica Hospital. Now a massive police manhunt is underway for that gunman who had no regard for anyone's life. It was broad daylight mid-afternoon on Wednesday on Jamaica Avenue when a fight inside a city bus over a seat forced the driver to look for help. He stopped the bus near 22-year-old police officer Brett Bowler, who was posted up along the busy avenue with his partner. He was where our communities tell us they want their officers to be, standing a footpost. He was flagged down by a community member who needed help. He was taking police action. Then he was shot. Police say as the suspect got off the bus and the officers approached him, there was a struggle and he pulled out a gun, shooting Officer Bowler in the right hip. The NYPD released these photos of the suspect who has a tattoo with the name Jocelyn on his left hand. Investigators say he ditched his black bubble jacket, an orange sweatshirt in a nearby parking garage and came out in a white t-shirt. We're asking for the public's help and help to ID this perpetrator. The reward now is up to $20,000 for information leading to his arrest and conviction. So they can, public reaches out. Again, $20,000, 1-800-COP-SHOT for any information. The wounded officer's partner returned fire, but the suspect got away. After visiting the officer and his family in the hospital, the mayor once again expressed his dismay at the number of guns in the city. When you could display a weapon over a dispute on the bus, that says a lot. And that is why we are continuing to remove these guns off our streets. Now, my sources tell me that the officer was in surgery today. He is in stable condition and is expected to remain here for further treatment at Jamaica Hospital over the next several days. Police tell us that they have found shell casings but did not find the weapon that was used to shoot him. But you can believe that investigation is active and ongoing. We're live at Jamaica Hospital. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Stephen Natasha, back to you. Lisa, thank you. And